already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Capricorn, the recent past energy between you and your person, Two of Cups, clarified by the Ace of Cups. Now the Two of Cups it often refers to romantic partnerships, but to a romantic partnership, but that's not its only connotation. It can speak of balance, friendship, joy, sharing. This card says that things are likely to be going well. You should be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. Now, it's with the Ace of Cups, which is a very powerful card in the tarot. It's a positive omen relating to love, happiness, and affection. Like all the Aces, it's about new beginnings. And although it usually means love, it can indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life. So, things are looking up. People will respond to you with happiness, love, goodwill, more than usually, when you get the Ace of Cups in a reading. So, you should be feeling good about life overall. It's also a great time to make friends. So, Capricorn, what I'm getting for you and your person, person's recent past energy, Two of Cups, clarified by this Ace of Cups. I'm getting that you were with someone who felt like a romantic love. This person felt like they were the ideal partner. The two of you felt like this was a deep connection that could have went to marriage proposal engagement, living together. Yeah, it felt like true love with the Two of Cups coming up here. And then with the Ace of Cups, this could have been a new, a new love that came towards you. Because, like I said, the Ace of Cups can be about new beginnings. It could have been a new one for, for some of you. And for, for some of you Capricorns, it was someone that you already knew. And it felt like the connection underwent a new beginning. There was a lot of warmth and deep attraction. So the recent past energy was absolutely beautiful for you and your person. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got the Knight of Swords. And so the Ace of Swords. Now the Knight of Swords, it actually brings a fairly upbeat, cheerful type of energy. It often means that someone or something desirable is about to seek you out. The Knight of Swords can point to your physical, emotional, and your spiritual energy being at a peak. If you're waiting on news from someone or something, you're likely to like what you hear. The Knight of Swords, it can point to a lot of activity. It can point to travel, being out and about, getting things accomplished. So you're not likely to feel like waiting for anything to come to you. And this is a good thing. The Knight of Swords actually goes after their heart's desire. Now, it's with this Ace of Swords, which can indicate new beginnings of some sort in your life, possibly on several fronts. Sometimes this new beginning, it gets started by a separation of some kind. Could be from a relationship, maybe a job or a situation. Just know that as anxiety-producing 
as such a new beginning can sometimes be. Underneath it all is actually a really good beneficial energy that's getting you to where you want to go, where you need to be. Okay, so what I'm getting for a lot of you Capricorns coming up, for you and your person, Knight of Swords clarified by this Ace of Swords. Yeah, it, it's shown that um, you're ready for this new beginning with your person. With this Eight of Swords, you're ready. But, like I said, something with, Ace, with this Ace of Swords, there's something that needs to be cut out. But you're ready to go forward with this new beginning with your person. It, it feels right, but there's a but. There's something that needs to be cut out. You could have already told your person this. Because here they come. They, they come rushing in to be with you. Sweep you off your feet like the Knight of Swords does. They're planning to take action towards you. The Knight of Swords will cut off anything that gets in their way just to be with their person. So... I'm getting for a lot of you, you're probably telling your person that something needs to be cut out. You want to go forward with them, with the connection, but something has to be put a stop to. So, when you tell them this, they come rushing towards you. Yeah, so let's see what they challenge is going to be. We got the Ten of Swords and it's with the King of Cups. Now, the Ten of Swords, it's a sign to be careful about where you put your trust. When the Ten comes up in relation to a question as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you or trust that a situation is stable, well, it's a pretty clear answer of no. However, you have to keep in mind that Whenever a door closes, another door opens. You're being guided to a situation better for you. So trust yourself and trust the universe. Ten of Swords is with the King of Cups. The King of Cups actually speaks of a balanced male and feminine energy. He holds all the positive qualities of both masculine and feminine. Often, he indicates... Uh, actual man in your life. Usually, when this does represent a live person, this person is very kind and loving. They could have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. What's in the King of Cups? Cup is love. All about love, kindness, compassion. Your person has a lot of emotions for you. Yeah. But, they, like I said, when they come rushing in, offering love and trying to sweep you off your feet, you kind of don't, you don't trust that they've done the work. Or you don't trust that, you don't trust them just rushing in like this. Being loving, kind, and compassionate. That's not what you really want. That's not what you really want right now. You want them to stop doing whatever they need to stop doing. I don't know, maybe they... I don't want to make assumptions. They, There's something that they need to put a stop to. Maybe it's a bad habit. Maybe it's someone that keeps trying to come back into their life. Maybe this person is married and they haven't... filed for a divorce. Something that they need to do so that you could feel comfortable with the new beginning that you do want with them. Because this is a deep connection here. There's a lot of cups here. There's love in this reading. But you don't trust that they're going to do what they need to do so that the two of you can have your new beginning. But let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. We got the Nine of Cups, and it's with the Six of Pentacles. Now, the Six of Pentacles is actually 
a sign of a turn for the better. Especially when it comes to money. Because when you hear the word pinnacles in the tarot, that can mean money, cash, coins, finance, income. It's one of the more positive pinnacles in the tarot. It speaks of equality, fairness, the nature of life. So when this card appears, you're heading into a positive cycle. Not just a positive day or a time, but a whole complete cycle. Six of Pentacles is often a card about generosity. It could mean that you're about to be the beneficiary or the giver of something of value. So share what you have because there's always someone who needs it. Now it's with the Nine of Cups, which is one of the most uplifting, pleasant cards to receive in a reading. It's known as a wish card. It can mean that what you're hoping for, what you're dreaming about, it's most likely to be yours in a brief period of time. Now, the appearance of this card is usually about happiness, good things to come. It also usually means that what you want is likely to come into being in your life. And if you're asking a yes or no type of question, well, this is the most powerful indicator of yes. Yeah. If you're already in a relationship and you get the Nine of Cups, it's possible that it will deepen. It will become better. It will become sweeter. Nine of Cups is a wish. Wish card. So your outcome is actually beautiful. I guess. I'm, I'm just, I can't take my eyes off of this Ace of Swords, this huge sword here. So, Six of Pentacles, clarified by the Nine of Cups, for the outcome is pretty much indicating that things do take a turn for the better. You could be feeling like your person is working on it. They're working on cutting out what they need to cut out so that you could feel comfortable moving forward with them in this great new beginning. They can start to do nice things for you, trying to butter you up, letting you know. I think they're trying to let you know that it's going to take time. It's not going to happen overnight, whatever it is that they need to cut out. I'm getting, for a lot of you, they're working on it. I don't know what it is, but it's something that they just can't do overnight. So they're working on cutting out what it is that you need them to cut out. Maybe it's just someone else that they got their hand tied to for some reason. Could be that. Could be a number of things. Maybe it's a bad habit. But anyway, things take a turn for the better. You no, know, you no longer feel like this person could stab you in the back, like the Ten of Swords is showing. Um, you both are starting to feel like you're each other's wish come true. There's very strong desire that the both of you have for each other. They feel blessed and satisfied to have you, Capricorn. It looks like they're trying to do the work. Things are going to turn around for the better. It's showing that it's going to be a good relationship. It's going to prosper with the Six of Pentacles. And the two of you are heading into a very positive cycle. Not just a positive week, but a whole complete cycle. You're trying to do the work that you need them to do. Cut out what it is. I'm kidding for a lot of you. They they probably need more time. So Capricorn, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified. When I post my next reading, I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. 
What's in the near future for the two of you? How do you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings. If you'd like to try one of those. So, Capricorn, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care of yourselves. Come back and join me for the next Capricorn reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, when you get my readings, the roles, they can be switched. You could be them, and they could be, or they could be you. Vice versa, either way. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, maybe a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates. Because these are general readings, they're not personal readings. So Capricorn, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Hope to see you at the next reading. Take care. And I wish you happy holidays.